I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Oh, it's okay. Shh, shh. Okay, just listen. You have to be honest with yourself. If Rose's face pulled back toward Paul, wouldn't you rather know now than later? Uh, that's it, Molly. You keep at it, it'll be a win-win situation. You'll have Dusty. And I'll have Rose. Last night you suggested I do that by kissing you. That's not the kind of help I need. Don't be so sure. It's worked before. <sighs> I sacrificed a lot to be with that girl. I'm not giving up now because Paul made some half-baked move. Oh, that was not a half-baked move. That was a full-baked move. That, that move practically had frosting on it. Mmm, frosting. Dusty, you were ready to kill Paul. I'll get over it. Yeah, in what century? Had a girl, Molly. Pin him to the wall. I overreact sometimes. That's me. Paul Ryan doesn't worry me. Let me tell you what worries me. Rose could have stopped that kiss before it started, but she didn't. And that makes her just as guilty as Paul. Oh, no, that? What are you talking about? You weren't even there. No, but I know she couldn't face you last night. What are you trying to say? Did she call? Did she pick up the phone when you called her? She got home late last night. She was tired. She probably crashed. Come on, that's not what it is, and you know it. Something happened when you left Paul and Rose alone in that apartment, and she knew that you'd read it on her face, and that is why she didn't show up. That woman's so unbelievable. She's awesome. She knows exactly what I wanted to do, and she does it before I even ask her to do it. I had a woman like that once. Once was all I could afford. Just saying that, uh, now that Molly's working with my old pal Dusty, she's gonna do all the work for me. We need more of this color. It's, uh, very popular. Okay, maybe later. Miss... I can tell you anything, right? And you're not gonna think that I'm crazy. Well, I know you're crazy. I think I still have feelings for Paul. You may, because I broke up his engagement and I took his woman. But once he finds out it's not gonna pay off to mess with me, he's gonna run back to his mommy. So you're gonna wait for Paul to get tired? Dusty, what happened to you? You didn't used to let people walk all over you. I don't need you pushing my buttons. All right? Knock it off. Well, let me tell you, I got some buttons of my own. Maybe you should try pushing some. It's, uh, it's getting a little steamy in here, don't you think? I'm gonna go in the back and check on that inventory that came in yesterday. You didn't get any inventory in yesterday. Well, maybe I'll wait till we do. Dusty, wait. You know, I've been through things like this of my own, and I know how painful it can be. But the good news is, you don't have to go through it all by yourself. And I found her, so I'm holding on to her. And I suppose Rose feels the same way about you. Well, she wouldn't have done Paul if she didn't. First, it's Lily and Holden, and then Jennifer, Paul. Who's Rose gonna pick next? Come on, you're acting like she's doing it on purpose. Donovan. Yeah, it's your partner and guide through life. Listen, I've sent you a guy today, Aaron Snyder. I want you to find him a job. A Snyder? You gotta be kidding me. Just find him something. It's important. Doing what? It doesn't matter. Just keep him busy. All right, I'll think about it. I know you can. I'll see you in a couple of days. A couple of days? Hello? Craig's leaving town for a couple of days? Family business. Is he going to be back for the opening? 
Sure you wouldn't miss it. Hey. How are you? My name's Craig. It's you and me, babe. And when we open up those doors for the opening, we are going to knock Oakdale on its boring, predictable, uptight... Tushy. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Thank you for reminding me we got a good thing going on here. Anytime. Listen, I'm sorry if I was harsh on you. But, you know, this partner thing makes my loyalty gene kick in. And, um, I get a little protective. I'm sorry. It's okay. Ty, you're a good woman. You've always been my. Hello? Hey, Molly, it's Paul. Dusty still there? Yeah, he owns the place, so he's usually here. Right. Then, um, maybe we should meet at my penthouse. For what? Well, we have a lot of friends in common. Thought maybe we could compare notes. You know, ordinarily, that is an offer that I would absolutely turn down. But given that my social life is non-existent, 15 minutes? I'll be waiting. It's all going very well, Henry. It's really only a matter of time before Rose is mine again. Was wrong. I mean, I'm with Dusty now, but kissing him and looking at him, his eyes, his lips, it was like... It was like going home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who started it? Well, he says that I did, but I, I mean, I think that he, I think he did. I mean, I... Did you guys, you know, no, get into no, 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 no. I mean, when we stopped that, I, I could barely catch my breath. I was... <sighs> Him, too? He could use a stiff drink. I mean, he could barely stand on his feet. And what he said after that... What? What did he say? That I was a part of him. That he couldn't shake me loose. When did he say that? At his apartment. I mean, Dusty saw us together. He went over to Paul's. I thought he was going to kill him, you know? So I went over there to stop him. And then Dusty left, and Paul and I were alone. Rose, look, I'm sorry. I know you don't want me to say this, but yeah. it's so romantic. No. No, it's not. It's not romantic. And I, I told him. It doesn't matter. Anything. I, all my feelings for Paul, I told him, are gone. Because you can't love two people at the same time, right? I mean, think about all the things I gave up to be with Dusty, so... That's my choice, right? I'm choosing to stay with Dusty. I don't have to think about it anymore. Hey, Molly. Thanks for coming. Everything all right? This place just holds a lot of memories for me, that's all. Right. Would you like to meet someplace else? I want to come in. I just need to get my courage up. So what do you want to talk to me about? Okay, well, first of all, we haven't really spent a lot of time since I've been back to Oakdale, so I thought it might be kind of okay. fun for us to... Uh, I wanted to talk to you about your relationship with Dusty. Why should you care about that? I think that you two make a beautiful couple. Paul, we're partners in a business. He is in love with Rose as if you didn't know. No. Believe me, I know more than I ever wanted to know about their twisted connection. It's just that I would rather that he be with you, so I'm gonna help you make that happen. Dusty. What makes you think I'd want to go back for more? Intuition. Can I be more specific? I think you two have great chemistry. You know, some people, they just kind of fit together all perfect. And why would you want to do anything that would make Dusty happy? What can I say? I'm a sucker for romance. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not a sucker for anything. And neither am I. You don't care about me and Dusty. You just want Rose all to yourself. You want me to seduce Dusty so you can gain free access to Rose? Yeah, everybody gets what they want. Enough of the altruism. 